guys. Exciting video today. We are going to be looking at how you can swing slower and yet hit the ball further. Firstly, let's have a look at the sources of power within the golf swing. Golfers use something called a kinetic chain. So it's a sequence of movements throughout the body. First of all, we're going to start with your hands, then the arms and the shoulders. They turn the club away. This is powered by a twisting of the torso and a turn of the hips until we reach the top of the swing, but here's where the magic happens. This sequence is reversed. So the lower body starts to move towards the target, power being drawn up through the feet, through the legs, through the hips, through the torso, until finally impact is delivered with the hands. But what's great about this is the majority of that power is initially drawn up from the feet. So if you can get your footwork and your lower half moving as it should, power can actually come a lot easier through the upper body. So let's see how you can start to build these layers of power. We've turned up to the top of the swing, we've got this full rotation, and our body weight has transferred onto the right-hand side. What I'm gonna be focusing on here is shifting the weight and getting my hips moving left towards the target, right if you're a left-hander, and then starting to rotate and turn and getting this left leg to straighten. And you'll notice here, as I make that shift and as I start to make that turn, the upper body is naturally beginning to follow and naturally beginning to turn. This will naturally start to bring the hands and the arms down into impact. If you can control your lower half movements, the upper body will follow. And the best thing about this is, if you move your lower body smoothly, you move it slowly, you move it in control, the power will build in levels. And everyone will know this feeling about coming through the ball and trying to add power with the upper body. That is when the upper body takes over and the lower half doesn't engage. So what we're going to be focusing on is moving to the left-hand side. This isn't a slide, it's a transfer of weight. And then turning, making sure those things are working slowly and the upper body is coming through afterwards and along for the ride. So this is the look that you see in some of the very best professionals, some of the best amateurs that you might play with, who hardly look like they're trying. They're not hitting it hard, and yet the ball is going miles. They've just managed to get their sequence working in order. So I'm just gonna focus here on those lower half movements, the shift and the turn, nice and slow. Just getting those feelings. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to speed this up a touch, just like the upper body fall. Let's give it a blast, shall we? Mm -mm -mm. To be honest, the hardest thing about this is having the patience to work the lower body and to wait for the upper body to become involved rather than trying to force it with the hands and the arms. So guys, if you want all the information, take a screenshot now. And also, if you want more information and more help with hitting those big, powerful drives, make sure you check out these driving videos here. And what an incredible backdrop this is, by the way. It's easy to hit good drives with that in the distance. <laughs>